All right, thank you for joining us today. I'm here with the beautiful Diane Paoletti, <laughs> who's going to tell us a little bit about her work at the Palmer Museum of History and Art. And I'm going to turn the screen over to her and <laughs> um, ask a few questions here. Um, so Diane, um, could you tell us about the artwork that will be on display at the Palmer Museum this week? Sure, I have some paintings down there. I believe I have it's mostly oils, but some, a few acrylics and uh, a couple landscapes and a portrait and some chickens. Excellent. <laughs> I know the chickens were really popular. Um, <laughs> um, so your work includes, yeah, a bunch of different subjects, landscape, portraits, animals. Um, how do you choose your subjects? Um, I usually try to pick something that touches my heart, especially with the portraits, like I've done my dad and my husband's dad who have passed away and a bunch of my grandchildren and I also do pet portraits which I really like to do a lot because they're just super fun to do and then the landscape same thing like you know it's just something that really catches your eye that you know is just spectacularly beautiful yeah, yeah. it sounds like you get to travel and see some beautiful places when you're painting in plein air versus painting yeah. in the studio um, is there anything particular you can share about that process? Um, yeah, I like I really enjoy plein air painting a lot, and it's funny because the first time I did it, I was like, "Why would anyone do this with the elements and the sun constantly moving?" And I just thought it wasn't my thing. But then I gave it another shot, and I just I really I really love it a lot. I have a I have it makes me th when you ask me, it makes me think of um, last summer. I went down in my backyard, we live on Cottonwood Creek, and I packed up all my equipment and walked down there. And I know that salmon come up the creek and we have eagles that hang out and stuff. But when I went down there, it was the middle of the afternoon and I was the only one there. And I had two eagles that were just like swooping down the entire time, talking back and forth to each other. I had salmon coming up the creek and it was it was just something I'll never forget. And I will, I, We'll never part with that painting. Yeah. Wow, that sounds so magical and so it, Alaskan. <laughs> it was so great. I can't. I can't even convey to you how great it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Um, yeah, that sounds like something the old masters would probably not have experienced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, but I still. I do. I really enjoy studio painting too. There's just such a huge difference between the two, and the majority of the time, I will take my plein air painting back into the studio and finish it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that sounds like the best of both worlds too. It is, it is actually. Yeah. Um, well, I would like to ask you a little bit about your, um, your techniques, which would also uh, <laughs> involve your uh, painting workshops in your studio. Can you tell us a little bit about the workshops you offer and sort of how that relates to the work that you have on display right now? Sure. Um, I tr I really try hard to get some really good artists up here from outside because I know it will only benefit those of us who want to learn more. And it's had a big influence on everything that I do. Um, as far as like, I got into portraits because I have a woman I brought up from California for like eight years in a row and she got us hooked on portraits. And then I had... Um, just this past year, I had Dustin Van Weckel from Colorado, who is a very well-known wildlife artist. And he, the things that we learned, and I know everyone that would, was in that workshop would agree with me, are just priceless, what we learned from him. And I hope to have him back. And then um, just this past February, we had Lynn Deffenbach, who is an internationally known pastel artist and oil painter. And she did a 10 day workshop. We did landscapes, florals, and portrait. And just same thing with her, just what we learned was just so priceless. And I had never touched pastels in my life. And I really, I like them a lot. <laughs> I do. And I'll continue to do them too. And while I brought up Lynn, I just want to say that just recently from that workshop, we ended up um, forming the Alaska, the Pastel Society of Alaska. Yeah, and which I'm president of. 
and we have <laughs> we're starting to get that going now so if anyone has any interest in that all they need to do is contact me great yeah well i have to put a link to that in the um, notes that would be great and here i want to mention one more thing because i do have a workshop coming up at the end of september we got kyle stuckey coming up from north carolina who is just go to kylestuckey.com if you think you're interested in portraits because this guy is just phenomenal i'm we're all really excited about it and i do still have openings oh excellent yeah. well i'll send a link to that as well <laughs> sure. okay Great. Well, yeah, it sounds like uh, on your on your website it noted that you were a self-taught artist, but it sounds like all of these influences have really no, oh, for sure. And a huge, I, yeah. yeah, and when I say self-taught, I mean I just I never formally went to college or art school or anything like that is what I mean. But people have definitely influenced me in the way that I just said, like yeah, for sure. Excellent. Well, forward to learning more about all the, those other artists that you can share. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Well, uh, yeah, I think, uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with um, folks that might be stopping by the museum? Um, no, I, I think that's it. I mean, I, I also, I offer classes in my studio. I do a Wednesday class and then I do private lessons too, if anyone's interested. Yeah. Are your classes for a particular ability or experience level or age range? No, the experience level doesn't matter. The age range, um, you know, nobody too, too young, but I will tell you that I'm in the process of teaching my eight and seven year old granddaughters one day a week. And then I have two four year olds I'm doing too, but they're <laughs> mine. So I'd probably say over 10 would be nice or 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to their work too, <laughs> as they grow as art, as small artists right. to bigger yeah. ones. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, and we'll uh, look forward to seeing your work and what you have going on in the future too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye.